Biggest floating thing I've ever seen in the world. That's like the, the biggest Pikachu I've ever seen. I mean, like, look at that. Lines are huge. It's ridiculous. Suck at picking songs. There's so few good songs in rock band, and so many ones that suck. AC DC, what the frick is that? <laughs> Like, I sat in a hall 
and I uh, I had like I had to watch, watch the progress of fixing that all day. Oh. And so like Alex Rogopoulos, our CEO, is walking by my desk, and it's like gaping buttholes. <laughs> 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 to be fair, it's still like that half the time. <laughs> it's not on such your desktop. <laughs> my my very second day of of work with the community team. Yeah, Sean, Sean's remembering this. Uh, I have my first day, and then like that evening, Aaron and everybody else leaves to go on the road, and they're like, bye Ellie, have fun, these are the forms. Ta-da. <laughs> oh, by the way, we also have 2,000 support emails we forgot to answer, can you kind of like take care of that? Uh, so my second day of work, uh, Sean, Sean was in the office, the two of us get in, get into work, and we had a goatsy attack. Oh, no. <laughs> I was like, what the hell is this? <laughs> <laughs> That's Alex's impression of a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> um, do we have, uh, we have any other questions lined up? Yes. Um, so, uh, say you write it in an email, and we reply to you with a helpful response. Tell me if this is a reasonable reply back. <laughs> <laughs> hey, asshole! <laughs> <laughs> I was telling you to cut the crap, asshole. The Rock Band 2 was fucking MLG. Don't know what that is. So legit, son. <laughs> Alright, I think that's what that means. So legit, son. Best in North Korea. Well, Kim, jo Kim Jong Il just got Rock Band 3, and I went over there for a slumber party movie night. I hooked shit up. And that game sucks. Rock Band 3 looks like ass, plays like asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes a quotable, everybody. So fix your shit, dickbags! <laughs> printings of Rock Band 3, we put, uh, looks like ass, plays like ass. <laughs> so, I'll ask you, just because you're the next one to play, what do you think, what is it about a person <laughs> that they, they're going to take the time, and sometimes emails are like multiple pages long with that sort of shit, like, what? What? Why? <laughs> put, your, put yourself in their position. What is leading them to do this? It's not on a form. No one else is reading it from me. Yeah. For me to get into that mindset, I'm thinking, like, five bottles of alcohol. <laughs> um, five bottles of alcohol, like, what kind? Yeah. Like, any alcohol is there? The way that sounded, I would say five bottles of Everclear at least. Yeah. <laughs> but 150 months. <laughs> Just um, but yeah, like as far as like writing emails like that, if you're responding back saying crap like that, they're clearly taking the piss. Like it's not they're, they're doing it because they think it's funny and they have no other like ideas as to yeah. Well, we're at, we're at a convention with gamers. Let's face it. Um, <laughs> Wait, quick interjection: Is the writer of that email in this room right here? <laughs> <laughs> it was a test. The grand reveal at the end of this was that Sean has been writing. <laughs> I would kiss him full on the mouth. <laughs> but yeah, as far as like support emails, like if you're responding to someone trying to be helpful, just being a dick, then Wheaton's law applies. You're being a dick. Don't be a dick, or just GTFO. <laughs> my, my favorite solution for that would be to take them completely seriously. <laughs> I, and I think Sean actually taught me this uh, back when we were like the two-man community team. And it's 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 probably my favorite method where where you're like, dude, like I'm so sorry you had an awful experience playing Rock Band. Like, can you can you tell me like what like what song you were playing? Like. Like we got this song and this song. Like maybe you should give it another try. Thanks! Exclamation point. Smiley. <laughs> 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 I think, I think also we've been taught by Sean that.
that's how I answer most of the emails like that. I'll be like, thank you so much for writing in and for your constructive feedback. <laughs> um, and while she's typing, fuck her. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm sorry, I'm like, oh, actually, I used to sit next to Aaron and I'd be like, I'm so angry. Um, the best part of that is if you read any of Sean's actual responses, they're not, they're not that too <laughs> you get someone who writes back and is like, I'm really sorry, I forgot there was a real person having to read and answer something on their heads. I mean, like, in, in all honesty, like, uh, by a show of fans, how many people in the room have uh, sent an angry email uh, to, uh, to an invisible support person that they assume did not exist, uh, calling them dickbags or something? <laughs> so I, I admire you. I admire you. Thank you for raising your hand. <laughs> 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 Very brave. Okay, I lied about not wanting to embarrass me. No, but really, this is um, this is something. Dear Harmonics, for the past week, sorry, for the past week, my wife and I have been fighting over an indiscretion of mine to the point that she spent most of the week in a hotel room and was considering leaving me. What? It's been the hardest week of my life. <laughs> couldn't sleep. Couldn't eat. But most of the week without bathing. <laughs> I was brought with worry and grief over the idea of losing my one true love. However, as a night friend of mine produced Rock Band 3, they convinced both of us to play. It was the first time she smiled since we started fighting, and I've literally cried tears of joy because of it. <laughs> and then he goes on to thank us for making the game, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Too much information is that boy. Too much information. I don't have a question time, because that's what I'm <laughs> doing. Let's see, I just did Zombies on the PC, round 10, won a mouse pad. Um, I did that yesterday at least. I got to round 9, but he gave it to me anyway. Um, play a little bit of. Rock in on the stage. I played bass over here. Hang on, I'll show you guys stage. So that's the so that's the stage. Rock in three. We got the Triton booth over here. Oh, I didn't even see that. The Mad Cat's right next to it. Got some more rock band over here. Of course, Triton's like sponsoring everything. And more Conehead. Oh, let's go this way. The Nintendo 3, the 3DS booth over there. Oh my god. The 3DS booth. The line for that stupid thing goes all the way around the back and like stretches all the way over there to that back wall. It's freaking ridiculous. Just to see this stupid little handheld that just has 3D. It's like it's just a handheld and it's 3D. Like, honestly, it's kind of ridiculous. And then this is cool. And at the end of the two hours, one person who has been on a winning team will win the Gunner, Gunner Gaming Glasses. Anyone else who'd like to play Crisis 2, please step on up, take a seat in the bleachers so we know you're queued up and ready to go. We'll get you in right at the end of this match. I'm not sure how long these are going to take. We'll find out. We'll kind of start gauging it as the matches go along. What is the last time? Is there a time? I'm going back here to ask Dustin what the score is played to because I don't know. Dustin. How many points does the winner accumulate? We don't know what the winning score is. 